Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be going over the new features that I added to the Text Mesh Pro Font Asset Creator, which are included in the latest release of Text Mesh Pro, which is release 0 0.1.54 Beta 3. Now you'll find that these new features greatly improve your ability to manage your characters included in your font assets and make it easier to add or remove characters. So let's take a look at these new features. So the first thing I'm going to do is select a font file and I will pick Arial. And the changes that were made relate to the character sets. So the first option is I'm going to go look at custom characters. The first thing you'll notice I, is I expanded the window where you can type characters. So here you could always type the characters you wanted to include or copy paste them from some document or some website. But the important change is now you have the ability to select any pre-existing font asset to retrieve the characters included in it. So let's say I wanted to regenerate my Arial SDF font asset to add or remove characters. I would actually select itself and now it pulled up all the characters currently included in it so I could easily add them by typing additional characters or delete them manually. So, and, and once I would regenerate it with the new characters and save over the existing file, then it would update not only my Arial SDF font asset, but it would also update all my pre-existing material presets that were derived from the Arial SDF font assets. Now these changes uh, are also available in the custom range. So here you can see the custom ranges available in Arial SDF. So let me pick a different, different font. So in the case of bangers, as you can see, it only included the non-breaking space character and then characters from 33 through 126. So if I hit generate font asset, it's actually generating an Arial font asset but using the characters that were defined in bangers. So using any other font asset, let's say you needed to generate like five different font assets for impact, bangers, whatever, but you wanted to make sure they all included the same characters, well you could generate the first one and then pull up the characters of the first one as you're generating all the other ones. Um, so in terms if I wanted to add more characters using the decimal range, I would simply type, let's say in this case I want to go from 161 to 255 to include the full ASCII range, and I would say generate, and you'll see that our list, we add 95 characters, and then suddenly we have 190. Okay, this change was also made, or this new functionality was also added to Unicode range, so instead of using decimal values, you're now using hexadecimal. So this also makes it easier if you go to unicode.org uh, and you pull up the chart of Unicode characters, then you can see where all the different languages are uh, located. So it makes it easier to type the ranges here as well. So this covers basically the new features that were added to the Font Asset Creator. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to post on the Text Mesh Pro user forum. Thank you.